The world is weird. And or wonderful. And I'm taking my curious little friend Ryan Bergar around to explore every little last bit of it. Hey, where are we? We're at the Mystic Museum. Burbank, California. That's where you'll find the Mystic Museum, an outlandish antiques wonderland stocked to the gills with a panoply of creepy curios. My colleague and I sat down with owners Kiko Bailey and Eric Wessel to find out more. So tell us uh, how this place came to be and how you amassed this giant collection of not accursed objects, but maybe some of them? Some of them, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah some of them are haunted. I want to say cursed because I don't think we would take anything cursed unless we're able to like contain it in like a glass jar that's right behind your head. Yeah, that little guy there. Yeah, is, is he's, he cursed? he's cursed, yeah. He looks cursed sometimes, as hell. Sometimes his eyeball is like sticking out. I'm like, well, how'd that happen? What's this handwritten note here? Oh, that's from an automatic writing seance session. Oh! So that's what the uh, medium at the time came up with. Like in the changeling. He does have a vacant stare that you could project any kind of emotion onto. I could see him being angry actually right now. But I could also see him saying, oh. Enough about our little friend up there. What were you guys doing before this? Because it, it seems like a strange thing to just jump right into this from the start. Um, what we did and what we knew each other was we both collected vintage. And so it was natural to just do a vintage store. And it was about one week of opening before we decide we need to do it more our way, which is yeah. why the oddities came out. Well, certainly it worked. This is pretty Thank amazing. You. Thank you. I, I, Thank I can't you. wait to walk around here. Can't wait to see some bones. How many years has it been here? Three. This is only three? This feels like decades. Yeah. Well, we change it, does, it out it every like three to four months. Next time you're here, it's gonna be like 1980s horror. Wow. That's crazy. So by the time our viewers actually get to watch this, it'll be a completely new experience. By, by the time our watchers get to view this. <laughs> no need to get snippy. Sorry. I've also heard that you guys maybe have someone here who could lead us in a bit of a spiritual gathering, seance, if you will. You're approaching this like a drug deal. Why are you doing it so <laughs> weird? Well, I've never, so hey, I look. tell from the guy around the corner. Well, you gotta be quiet it. about these things. We can hook you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's begin our exploration. I see some old photos here. Do you know these people? No. Um, apparently it's supposed to be all one person throughout duration of her life. Oh. Whoa! So it's probably like, was at her funeral? Like all like together? What? Uh, the that's wall? a dead lady. It was just, whoa. What is this here? It's a casket plate for a coffin. That's German too. Estella Neusmer. Age 18, 18 years. years. Wait, is that her casket? Not her, no. Oh, no. I mean, that would be great. And I would she, love that. But she's cool. Is she? She's dead. Just, she's dead. She's, she's dead. dead. Yeah. yeah, she's definitely dead. Is this all just for sale? If anyone, if mm -hmm. someone yeah. walked in here and wanted any of this, they could just be like, mm -hmm. name your yeah. price. Almost everything in here is for sale, yeah. Oh! Oh, dear Jesus Christ. So this guy has a weird obsession with butterflies Look encased in glass. These. Really? Uh -huh. these are gorgeous. Okay, keep it the in your pants. The common archduke. We're in public. <laughs> the chocolate albatross. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How much do these run? Uh, that's 45. 45 bucks, good to know. Might be picking one of these up on my way out of here. And that brings us to some teeth. Yeah, so if you're making your own bone throwing kit, yeah. so this really has to do with like a voodoo. I oh. see. Or hoodoo, if, yeah. you're, if you're not in the religion. Buffalo tooth. Now this is ideal for when you have like a witch's brew and you have like a like an ingredient list, like you need three coyote teeth, one <laughs> chicken claw. Yes, I guess you could do it for A that. whole peacock. Well, each animal is supposed to represent a certain thing. What, beautiful. What in the world is... It's a chicken? That is an alligator. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I guess I've never seen... Never gone to KFC and... Uh, Gator. That's deer That's... knuckles. Deer knuckles? I guess I didn't know deer had knuckles. I've never seen him like give me a thumbs up. Or... <laughs> so when you sell, let's say, um, a turtle skull or... Whoa, let me see that turtle skull. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's a little guy. So so it's a true thrift store in that sense. Yeah, that you're not yeah. trying to replenish or keep inventory. And the, on this side of the store, yeah, as much as one of a kind as we can, and we do fill the skull case, but not necessarily with the same skulls all the time. That makes sense. Turtles live a long time too. Yeah, not all of them. Well, clearly. Doesn't that look like a little dinosaur? Remember in... I mean, it did until I read Gecko. Remember in The Lost World when the little girl goes to have a picnic and they're like... The, fi the fictional film Lost World, yeah. Based on science fact. Yeah. 
Jesus is here too. I'll tell you what this is. I really like these things. So these are what are called last rites kit. So this goes in here, it's like a little box. Whoa, it's like oh. a transformer. They used to call these sick call kits. So if you're a sick, they would pull these out. Put it right here. Because they knew they were going to die, right? Yeah. Uh, die, or if you were sick and the priest wanted to, or the family itself wanted to kind of cure you, they would put this in here and you got your holy water. This feels like something that would be in the holster of every exorcist out there. Right. Can you imagine whipping it out like a like a switchblade, just sort of like... That's what I'm saying, like a butterfly knife? So that's probably like a 60s or 70s, and then here's like an older version of that. Oh, a little candelabra. That's dope. Mm -hmm. Here's oh. a praying pew down here. Wow. And then this in here would be the communion. So you would eat your communion. Oh, there's like so many here. fun little compartments. Like little I didn't this know about that. Too. <laughs> You're all learning today. This is insane. Right. Do you keep your little snacks in here? Yeah. Now, do you put this on when you pray? <laughs> yeah. Just a praying mask? Yeah. yeah, here you do, yeah. So, you know. That's how Jesus recognizes yeah. you. Yeah. Ooh, someone's ready to pray. They got my official mask on. Everyone thinks Jesus looked like a sexy white man. I'll tell you what, he looked like this. Like History shows. He looked like the Red Skull in The Winter Soldier. <laughs> That's right. Is there any items that you think we should talk about, like crown jewels? Well, we're kind of known for our, you know, Skeletons. I was waiting to get to this. So, like, these things are really, really rare and hard to come by. Oh! That's glass? Uh, oh. Lucite. What is lucite? Just a hard plastic. It's like acrylic. And so these were made so they could test, like, x-ray machines and CAT scan machines without constantly putting a live human through the radiation. That makes sense. Sweet of them. You see the cartilage. Oh, let me see that cartilage. That's disgusting, and it's in all of us. So I, I will guess say I bone just... marrow is delicious. Not human bone marrow, marrow yeah. but like I went to a, a place wow. once and they scooped out the bone marrow and I couldn't get enough of it. Oh yeah. It's delicious. I kind of have like tractophobia to- Yeah, do to, you get a little- Well, I don't like honeycomb looking things. Yes. Oh yes. yeah, that's a- That's a thing. That's a thing. And I, I have it because I looked at that and my skin- Ah, come on, man. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I think this is interesting. Can you guess what that is? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it? Is it? Um, <laughs> it has residue on it. I'll say that. Some I think sort that's of from the prop house. Vertebrae oh, or something. <laughs> it's actually your what? ankle. Whoa! Ew. And I. This have... is fun. I never thought it'd be fun to guess the bone. Oh, everybody! It's time for our favorite game again. That's guess one. that. Ryan, say it that with one me. Should be kind Get of every. No, let's all say it. Guess that bone. Let's let the audience get proper time to observe that. Here is my finger to hold up some scale, and I have normal size hands, unlike our president. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, uh, what do you think this is? I'm well, trying he's, to think he's really selling it. Hands what in the air. What in the body looks like that? This is an adult. I'm gonna say a large male. A large male. So like him? Yes. <laughs> what does that look like on me? Foot. No, I didn't mean that. Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> A uh, rib, rib somewhere? Close, but no. Oh, oh! Uh, clavicle! Yes! Yes! How? Oh. I'll show you. <laughs> so clavicle? Yeah, clavicle. Feel them on you, Ryan, they're there. Do you not have clavicles? Is this what we're learning? Oh, it says something on it. I have no bones. <laughs> no bones. I'm just goop. No bones, Bergara. I'm just goop No bones eyes. about them. Thank you for playing Guess That Bone. Let's move on. We're no longer in Bone Town. We are in the gift shop, and just to look around, this is a horror geek's oasis. Yes. I'm seeing several properties that I love that we, of course, can't show. Cannot show on camera. But believe me, they're here. Oh, who could forget that beloved property? Or that one. I love that director. Wow. Good Great. stuff. But <laughs> We are in front of something very interesting here. So here we're in front of like where we keep most of our tarot decks. We also do our own like ritual bath salts, oh. our spell candles, oh. and then also rune kits. We also have a section over here where we do uh, books. So if you have any subject on anything, either Wiccan, herb related, crystals, anything like that, wanna learn spells, just wanna know the history yeah. of witchcraft or tarot or anything, we have you know the book for you. Hex your ex, that seems a little bitter. I mean, I think the the title is more of a shock value. Oh, I see. They get you in and then they give you some like worthwhile hex. Because uh, you yeah. don't want to really do anything to really create anything bad for anybody because, yeah, yeah. you know, the belief is that you would get a tenfold back at you. Back. Yeah. Karma. Back. Karma. Do, do good in this world. Don't be hexing nobody. Have fun. Live your life. Smile. You dance like nobody's watching, etc. Look, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling ready for a seance. Good segue, let's do it. Let's do it. Are you guys ready? <laughs> You're looking 
bring up like that scene in The Haunting when they could hear all the walls crunching. Well, it's because there's a vibe in this room right now. We're joined by two new presences here, Mia, the medium, and Vanessa, who also works here at the Mystic Museum. She had a less defined title, I guess. <laughs> not as clean. Let's dig in, let's kick some ass. Well, we're not kicking any ass here. We're opening ourselves. How, what are we doing here? Um, so we're gonna be lifting the veil between the worlds. I have this oil that I make, so we'll be putting that on our hands, a little bit behind your neck. The reason we do this, because this is the biggest portal on your body. That's why you bow your head when you pray. So just to put some back there. That's a lot of oil. I feel like a breadstick This is right a, lot, <laughs> a lot of oil. <laughs> You still, uh, you still feel good about that turtleneck right now? <laughs> Put it in the mustache. It's just on the cheeks. Oh, the mustache. Yeah, really get it nice and moisturized. Oh. All right, so we'll get okay. started. Fine. We're gonna li we're gonna lift the veil. So put your hands on the table. Close your eyes. We're gonna take some deep breaths in, in, and hold it. Two, three, four, and out. One more time. Breathe in. Hold it, two, three, four, and out. Now imagine a white light starting at your feet and going up your ankles, up your thighs, neck, to your third eye, where it's shooting out the top of your head. Gonna keep us protected during our seance. We're not gonna allow anything bad in. There's a veil that's lifting, lifting, and when I ring this bell, the veil will be lifted. We are now between the worlds. Does anybody want to bring anybody in? Yeah, let's um, let's bring in uh, the master of suspense, Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, nice. So we'll join hands for this just to get the energy up. So left palm up, right palm down. Left palm up, right palm down. And then love and light. And we're going to all say this together. We call in Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock. One more time in love and light, we call in Alfred, Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock. He, he's coming through, but he's really, he doesn't really believe in this stuff. He's being really resistant right now. Is he standing profile? <laughs> I don't see the profile. He's just kind of, he's standing back here. Let's, let's use the rods. These are dowsing rods. They can sense spirits. People can communicate through them. You can uncross your hands at any time, but oh. I thought it was really sweet. Oh, can I open my eyes? You can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> oh, you can have, have people, have people yeah, had their eyes open? Yeah, we've all been laughing at you. So they'll cross on yes and stay uncrossed for no. Alfred, are you here? And I can't control these, by the way, at all. Yeah, you're here. Go back to the middle, please. Thank you. Where are you in this room right now? Yeah. He's leaving. He's right behind me. So he's oh. he's been there and he's like, this is not this is not what I want to be doing. It's like, yeah. where are the blondies? <laughs> right. <laughs> do you have any questions for him? Do I have any questions yeah, for him? Yeah, while he's here and sort of willing to answer some questions. Yeah, yeah. What was it like working with Jimmy Stewart? How about yes or no questions? <laughs> Did you like working with old Jimmy Stewart? He was going to be the other person I wanted to call. No. He didn't like working with Jimmy Stewart? Well then, honestly, I don't know what we're doing here um, because Jimmy's the best. You Shut it down. You, you asked for him, what question you got? Do you think you're the greatest horror director of all time? Yeah, he's got an ego on him for sure. I like that. Do you, do you think people should enjoy popcorn with your films? No. That's, un okay, I don't know if I agree with that, Hitch. He probably brought grapes into the theater. No. Why? Grapes? Did you bring grapes into the theater, Alfred? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're learning things. All right, so place your fingers on the board. Elbows off the table, everybody. Off the table. Mia nice told us that before we started rolling. Nice I don't actually know that. Before we do this, yeah. I would like to lift up the board. To, to show make sure everybody. there's no hooey underneath? Well, no, not that I don't trust. I want the audience to know there is no. Well, we know that Kiko and Eric would never sell any flim flammery here. Well, that's part of our museum. That's an antique yeah, board. Whoa, dude. Yeah. So this is Stop your. Stop knocking on it. Well, I was just Whoa, trying to. check this out. Yeah. Donk, donk, donk. <laughs> nice. Is there anything under the table here? No. So we're gonna wake up the board. Alfred, you got this, bud. And then you can ask questions. You can, you can do yes or no, or if you want him to spell something out, you can do that too. You might notice a feeling in your arm or your shoulder that it's, that's where you're gonna feel either pressure or where he's trying to move it. You have some bangers in the bank that you never got to put to screen? There you go. What if he types out a whole script right now? Exterior, 
dash Houston. <laughs> there you go. What's it? I can't see what it says. He's just trying to get the hang of it right now. You got it, dude. <laughs> you got it, dude. And sometimes with Ouija boards, um, it seems like whenever people cross over, spelling kind of goes out the window. Did you have more movies that you wanted to make? You're just, you're taking this thing for a ride. <laughs> he's figuring it out right now. Can you see movies in hell? <gasps> what makes you think he's in hell? What? what you, oh my God. <laughs> what did he say? He yeah. Yeah. yeah, he gets to watch movies in hell. That's cool. Are you in hell? Are you in hell? Me and Hitch, man, we're like this. Wait, I get wait, it. Wait a minute. What kind of celebs you get? You get like a... Uh, um, who've you had? Who've you had that's been really uh, chatty? Um, Elvis is usually pretty chatty. Oh, I'm sure he is. Um, before the whole... Finding Neverland thing. Um, one time we brought Michael Jackson in. Um, he was also pretty chatty. Pretty quiet now, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Michael's not taking any interviews anymore. <laughs> you have to go through his ghoul PR person. Um, Marilyn Monroe does not want to come through. She will never no? come through. Makes sense. What if we call JFK? Yeah, what about JFK? John, I have a lot of theories as, what, as to what happened to you. Did the CIA kill you? No. Did LBJ kill you? What about the Umbrella Man? Was it the Umbrella Man? Holy, oh, oh, oh come on, on. I wanted it. I wanted it. Oh. It was the Umbrella Man. Oh, he's teasing us. So, oh, you're gonna love this. When JFK's car was driving oh, past, crazy, past the grassy knoll, <laughs> there was a man who showed up in the Zapruder film who had an umbrella. Oh, umbrella. And Sunny it turns day. out, at that time, there were actual plans in motion to develop a spy gun that shot a bullet out of an umbrella. Like the I mean, penguin. I know about that. I know about that gun. A lot of people think it was him. And if that is conclusive, which you know, he, sees it, you know. <laughs> he knows all that. He's saying yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. Marked by umbrella. You have any other questions for Jack? I mean, we've got a president. No, there. that's good. We figured out who killed him. I think that's Do plenty. You... I got a question. Okay. Do you want the world to know who it really was? Nah, kind of seems, he's no. like, I'm dead, dude. Kind of seems like good. Maybe he likes a mystery. He's like J.J. Abrams, he likes a mystery box. Yes, I am just like J.J. Abrams. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was certainly a strange session. A great session. We, to, we, to, we do have to close. We have to close the veil first. Close the veil. Before we do this, I'd just like to say to you all that this has been a pleasure. I want to thank you again for having us here. And to you, John, and Elf. Elf, both of you. They're probably hanging out with each other. They probably haven't. They're throwing back a cold one right now, yeah. having a good laugh. I really liked the bats. <laughs> you love bad JFK. I do love bad JFK. It's very fun. Okay, here we go. All right, so imagine everybody that we had called in around the table. <laughs> it's a funny crew. I know. So everyone is around, and then we'll imagine the veil lifting down, 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 as the people that we invite in step back. And then the veil is closed and thanking everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's not every day you get to feast your peepers on some breathtaking butterflies, test your clavicle recognition skills, and talk to a deceased master of horror about his love of grapes. But you just never know what's in store at the Mystic Museum. I mean, we didn't even have time to talk about this or whatever's going on here. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was a it was a rotating cast of characters we had here. We had the a president, old Hitch. What a journey. Yes. Thank you for taking me here. My pleasure. Well, goodbye. goodbye.